Watch now as I take you down a road that is less traveled in the field of medicine. You've seen all the doctors taking many tests and pills, but you keep getting worse. Do you know why? Welcome to Know the Cause. Welcome aboard, friends. Thank you for joining us today. That was a great day in Los Angeles when we gave that presentation. Today is going to be a great day for you because Richard Lenz, the president of the Seagate Company from San Diego Way, is talking about broccoli, a superfood. You think it's so simple that you just eat broccoli, but wait till you see all the benefits of it. Kyle Thank Drew you. joins us today. <laughs> Kyle and I are going to be talking about many things. Number one, his psoriasis, his Ooh. own wrestling match with the very disease that was due to fungus in his body. And it wasn't just skin. It so was we'll, everywhere. We'll go into this. And then Kyle and I are going to open with a little better understanding of what in the world is this phase one diet? And what are its benefits other than just weight loss? Lots. It's going to be fun. Oh, All yeah. that and a whole lot more on today's Know the Cause. Well, we'll start today's show at the very beginning. What in the world is this phase one diet? Now, many of you, I understand there's a couple hundred thousand people a day that watch this show. Many of you already know what the phase one diet is, but for Kyle's benefit, because he's <laughs> here today. You. I need that. There was a time when you thought, okay, diet, weight loss, you know, diet couldn't fix anything. Yeah, sure. I mean, you think that diet is something that you go on mm -hmm. to lose weight. You don't see it as anything that's uh, potentially therapeutic. You don't see it as right. really changing your whole life around. That's for drugs or maybe even supplements if they're really powerful to do. Turns out diet is in the natural world, almost omnipotent compared to so many of the other things that are out there. Well, on TV, especially around January, February, we see people run out. I used to, my pants used to be out here and now they're here because I went on this micro food. They never tell you it's a micro food diet. They show you cheesecake and it's like that big. But here <laughs> yeah, right. is what the phase one diet is. The legalistic Doug, oh, right? Okay. here we go. An experimental diet that provides proper nutrition while simultaneously starving fungus inside your body. And now here's the one good. Kyle likes. What are the benefits of the, there wasn't enough room on the slide. Right. What are the benefits? Conditions that are due to food or fungus kind of disappear. That sounds like such a lawyer wrote it. I <laughs> it mean, was. Come, that's it the was. thing. No, and, and you have to do, when, there, when you're doing a health show, you have to be careful the way that you say it. But believe me, the benefits are legion. You begin to feel better. Uh, there are things that you used to deal with that you're not dealing with anymore. You cannot ever say anything more specific than that, and that's why it sounds like a lawyer wrote it. But I promise you, I used to not feel the way that I do, and it's thanks to the phase one diet. Susie Cohen is writing a new book, and we're really excited about this one. She's writing it on headaches, because mm. women have so many different kind of headaches. She asked me if I would contribute to it. And then she kind of did one of those dot, 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 but do you think fungus plays a role oh. in headaches? Come on, you're asking Doug Kaufman you betcha. if fungus plays a role. Jane said this, I was on the phase one diet for 30 days. I have no more pain after 20 years. I just wrote something for uh, the knowthecause.com blog, and it's on migraine headaches. I don't know if it's up yet. But I've talked to people that you used to mm. do counseling with who used to have intract uh, intractable pain throughout their entire body, and after a few weeks on the phase one, they don't have the pain. Kyle, I put in there <clears throat> food and fungus, right? Yep. Because we don't know if it's food allergy. You go on the phase one diet and you're going off all grains. Wheat allergy was common, dairy allergy was common. And so I never knew at the hospital where I worked, there mm -hmm. were these doctors that brought me here from Los Angeles to Dallas, Texas, on a five-year contract. I told Ruth, the kids are small, we'll pick them up, off we go. And for four years, I worked with Dr. Weekly and Dr. Bodwin and several other doctors at yep. Medical City. And it was amazing, folks, it was amazing. I put people on a phase one diet experimentally. 
how do I know if my psoriasis, you'll see later in the show, <laughs> how do I know if my psoriasis, how do I know if my headaches, how do I know if my constipation or my itchy skin is due to fungus, Doug? You try this diet because you see fungus is a parasite. It must be fed. It eats our food. What food? That's what the phase one diet figured out. <clears throat> it has to have sugar. Yep. Got to have carbs. Mm -hmm. And so grains convert to you know glucose when you chew them up and swallow them. And then there's the candy we crave. There's the alcohol we crave. There's the sugar we crave when we have a fungal condition. Fungus becomes the dominant partner in a fungal cell, human cell relationship. And guess why you start to crave what you do. It's not you. So many people feel guilty. So many people, frankly, feel condemned when they have these cravings. And the fact of the matter is, many times, it's not you. Exactly. It's something else. Exactly. Yeah. Well, John probably said it best. 59 years young, and he yeah. said a lifestyle change is needed. It's one thing to have me say what he said. Watch this, folks. My wife and I, we're in this together and we support each other. Uh, we've gone mostly organic on our foods and stick to the phase one as close as we can. I was having problems with uh, some sinus infections and haven't had one of those in, in two years. Uh, even had some toenail fungus and, uh, and that went away too. So, and don't take any uh, prescriptions, no medicines and have been very healthy. I haven't had a slice of bread in uh, two years, haven't had a potato in two years, uh, dropped 20 pounds pretty quickly. It was pretty tough. The first couple weeks I was uh, a, a bit on the irritable side, uh, but eventually kept getting better and it's just been a, it's really been a lifestyle change is what it's been. You know, you hear that once, you hear it a thousand times when you're standing in my shoes. It's absolutely amazing what testimonials those are for Thank the you for letting me be able to read these testimonials. The, all the years that I've been here, I got to read these as people were writing in. I was amazed the first day that I was here reading all of these. Now, folks, which fruits are okay on the phase one diet? More importantly, why? When we get back, we'll discuss that. Here to help you with your health issues today is Frank Jordan, bringing you the NSC Minute. You are your primary health provider. You know your body better than anyone and doctor. Time becomes more scarce each day. Your health challenge are don't get sick or get over it. Eat right for fuel, exercise for body conditioning, rest for repair, and stress less to reduce body strain that ages us fast. Supplement to do what you want and can't do for yourself. Act now. Build up your body's immune shield against constant health challenges. Nutritional support from Ammunition MG Glucan and NSC24 or NSC100 put medical school research MG Glucan on the march to fuel your immune cells. Feel tired all the time and catch everything that comes along? Don't wait. Order NSC24 or NSC100 now on the web or by phone. Let your better tomorrow begin today with NSC Ammunition Beta Glucan. All right, friends, before I hop on to my good friend Kyle's arm, you'll understand that in just a moment, I want to read this to you. This is amazing. I do a lot of these, that's my takes. This one is going to even amaze you because it did me. Headline says, fungal infections mimicking pulmonary malignancy, clinical and radiological characteristics. The objective, the purpose of this study is to evaluate the clinical and radiological features of patients with fungal infections mimicking lung cancer and to establish diagnostic approaches for both clinicians and radiologists to avoid misdiagnoses. Just published a couple of weeks ago in a big journal called Lung, L-U-N-G. There's weekend reading. The conclusion was this. Fungal infections can present with clinical and radiological features that are, and I'm going to quote, indistinguishable from lung cancer, such as lung nodules or masses. Are you with me on this? Do you know the relevancy of this? Published, what, September of 2013. Do you grasp what this says to radiologists and to oncologists? It says, and I'm going to use my own words here, no more quotes, Doc, we're blowing it. Sometimes 
when you're saying lung cancer to a patient, that's a life-threatening statement. Lung cancer. And you don't mean to do this, you're good doctors. Sometimes it isn't lung cancer at all. So stop giving the patient one option. Always, 100% of the time, rule out fungus. It's simple, you can do it with a blood test, you can go in and take a biopsy of that thing in their lungs, please rule out fungus. Not only for lung cancer, brain cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, blood cancer, leukemia, you name it, rule fungus out because folks, as sure as I'm standing here, this show has taken off for two reasons. You are driving it, thank you, and I am right, thank God. Don't go away, more of Know the Cause right around the corner. That's My Take is brought to you by NSC Immunition Products. Let your better tomorrow begin today with Immunition Products. You know what I've loved through the years? Assisting people in getting better. There have been thousands of them I've been able to do that with. And now it's your opportunity. I'm teaching you, then you help them. What better way and what a better gift during the holiday season than the cookbook, Eating Your Way to Good Health, and Cooking Your Way to Good Health. A holiday special, we'll put them both on sale. Why wait until January 2nd to start helping yourself and your loved ones get better? Why not start today? Many years ago, while growing up in the nutrient-rich green countryside of Japan, Dr. Ohira had the genesis for the idea that would become the fermentation process for one of Japan's best probiotics when traveling in Malaysia. Dr. Ohira concluded it must be the fermented foods they ate that contained these beneficial probiotic bacteria that contributed to their good digestion and enhanced immune health. Dr. Ohira's probiotics are the ultimate in probiotic supplementation. Feel the Dr. Ohira difference. What do you think? Know This is now in magazine format. It turns pages just like that. It's that simple. Now, mom doesn't have a computer. She wanted to get Know This. Make her a copy and send it off to her. A new recipe every month, the same great articles you're always used to, and then sponsor and our own sales on Know This. Simply go to our website, knowthecause.com, click on sign up free. It's yours, we send it to you. Then you can disseminate it anywhere you want. It's that simple. So what is this phase one diet and what are some of the benefits of it? Well, you know the benefits now. You've seen a couple testimonials, but and Kyle is going to be on later talking about uh, a testimonial he has that was yeah. one of the great ones. But Kyle, there's all this confusion about fruits on the phase one diet. Kim asks, are fruits unlimited on the phase two diet? What do fruits have to do with fungus? Well, it's sugar. It's fructose or, or maltose or dextrose or you know lactose that feed fungus. And so my original intention was, <laughs> and that's where this word comes in, my original intention was to give you berries and grapefruit, you know, and green apples on the phase one diet as fruits. And I was going to take away melons and oranges on the phase two diet and give you all the other fruits. But like the Garden of Eden, you got, you overdid it, right? <laughs> you started eating and eating and eating all of this sugar, grapes, peaches, pears, and so forth. And you went overboard, and all that fungus started to come back. So now we just say, follow the phase one fruits on the phase two diet. Well, the thing about uh, the word unlimited, I think that that says an awful lot. Because a lot of people have lived their life going excessive with some food. Let's say it's chocolate cake. And then in order to rid myself of chocolate cake, I have to be excessive with something else. How about fruit? How about uh, greens? How it's the excess thing yeah. that really, really gets people in a lot of trouble. And this unlimited thing, gosh, be careful with that. Let's take care of the, the inside before we start going into this whole unlimited thing. Kyle, nobody was sitting there with four halves of a grapefruit. <laughs> right? But it was grapes and pears and peaches that everybody was overdoing. So I saw a trend there and said, okay, let's recoil. Let's just stay with green apples, grapefruit, berries, cherries, things of that sort. Mm. Would you mind if I talk All vegetables right. with uh, my friend Richard? Do Rick, it. you ready to go? Let's do it. I promised you in the opening of the show we'd spend a little time with Richard Lenz here, one of my favorite nutrition companies in the world. All my sponsors are. Richard Lenz and I go back 17 or 18 years. I was just born. <laughs> you were a baby. You were what, 12 back then? <laughs> we, uh, 
we saw our kids be born and grew uh, and grow. We saw our dads pass away, you know, together. I mean, we've been through a lot together. You saw mom pass away. Um, and here you are still beating the same drum. And that is take good care of your health and into your old age you can enjoy yourself. So you can go deep into the ocean with a camera and take, I thought that was a sock puppet, you know, one of those things you put on your hand. But that's a real moray eel, is it? Yeah, not too friendly. He's, it looks further away than it is on camera. That, that's probably two or three feet from the lens. And I still have the camera in front of me, so if he gets too close. You can push it. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, um, you know, diving is something that we generally don't do at this age. It's something you do when you're 20, and then you give it up for 20 years because you're raising kids, there's no money, and then some people take it back up again when they're 45, 50 because the kids are out of the house, they've got time, they got a little extra money, they can go on trips. But I was looking at the stats because now I'm doing this a lot. The, the, the number one cause of death from diving for divers over 45 years old is heart attacks because they go out there, they're in no shape, they dove when they were 20 and they think, oh, I can just get back in with a tank, it's easy, and, and they are dying. That, that's like 30 or 40% of the reason why the older divers die is because they have a heart attack from the strain. And there's really no reason if you stay in shape that that should happen. You should be able to um, you know, easily, you know, you're, you're weightless once you're in the water. So what I'm trying to say, and also what I'm trying to say, not just to the divers that have come back, but the people that have let a whole lifetime of abuse make that st their stomach have a tire, their blood pressure is at 140 over 90. Um, they're calling us up saying, what is it that we can do? What pill do you have that's gonna make this all go away? And my answer always is to them is, well, there's a lot of things that we make and there's a lot of things in your diet that you can do, but you gotta do an entire lifestyle change. And I'm trying to be representative to that. If I came on your show and I had a big beer gut, and no one's gonna believe me, but if I can come on the show and say, look, this is what I do in my spare time. I'm going swimming in San Diego Bay. I'm diving off of Belize. Um, but what I tell these people, if you're not doing any exercise, if you're using the channel changer, if you're eating all these weed and corn-based foods and eating all the junk sugar and then just not eating right and not exercising and not taking the right supplements, sure, there's not anything coming to Seagate that we're going to be able to do. But if you come back and, and get the exercise and, and certainly there's supplements that we make like the broccoli and the olive leaf extract and get off of all those uh, fungal growing foods that are killing you, uh, and eat right, you, you should be able to get your waistline down and your blood pressure down. 70% of the diseases that we have are caused by what we're eating that's incorrect. All the high blood pressure, all the cardiovascular diseases, all these heart attacks that these older divers are having is from lack of exercise and eating all the wrong things. And that's really my message. And that more eel is the end result of trying to do it right so I can keep jumping back in the water and not coming back with a heart attack. <laughs> Good for you. What Richard said in there, I hope you pick this up, was the products we make, olive leaf extract, broccoli, and so forth. Uh, folks, this is a different kind of a company. Richard harvests olive leaves. He grows grapes. Uh, he, for the grape seeds. I mean, the things this man does, the garlic, the carrot powder, he does himself. This is a guy who dominates this field. I had lunch with a friend of mine the other day and he said, Seagate is a company I would love to be in because one man does the, the, sends his products out to clinical laboratories independently, writes them checks to make sure everything that's on his label is in that product, and he goes for whole foods. One that we talked about extensively here the other day was broccoli. It came on the market to help people with Helicobacter pylori, right? Some studies came out, but it's also people with arthritis and so forth. I'm not saying take this product to get rid of those diseases. Talk to your doctor, those of you on medications, about doing just what Richard said, change my lifestyle and pick up some of the broccoli and see if that change lifestyle, change diet, exercise program, and the broccoli don't annihilate some of the symptoms you're having that contribute to diseases. Good to see you. Thanks for all you do for this entire industry. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate it. Company. Don't go away, friends. I'll be right back with more.
Have you been on every diet in the country and still not losing weight? Have you seen a nutritionist and continue gaining weight? The Fungal Link to Weight Loss is a science-based weight loss program for American families. Doug's book, The Fungal Link to Weight Loss, explains why you're overweight, and it may not be that you're overeating. This book is loaded with amazing information that will affect your health in a good way so that you will know the cause. Go to knowthecause.com and order The Fungal Link to Weight Loss right now in time for Christmas. It's the present that will change a life, maybe yours. <coughs> Do you sometimes feel like your life is surrounded by germs? Ah. <coughs> Seagate's all natural remedies can help protect you and your family and relieve these irritations. Ask for Seagate in your local health food store or call toll free and learn more about all of the products coming from Seagate's organic farming and fishing operations. All of us here at Know the Cause, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Thank you for enjoying Know the Cause as much as we enjoy bringing it into your home every day. You know, a lot of people have psoriasis. That's an everyday occurrence. But sitting on someone's arm with psoriasis, we promised you in the opening of the show that we would show you a real arm. This is Kyle's arm. Yikes. It, look at, and the psoriasis just. Could you scratch it? <laughs> Thank you. But look at this. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 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 but look at the, you know, you see it way up here, how yeah, yeah. much it's covered and yep. all the way down to my hands here. But the thing about it is, is that this covered my entire body and you'll see other parts in just a moment, but it covered my whole body. The itching was horrible. The burning was terrible. And there was nothing that you could really put on it to alleviate the itching. When, when was, I mean, you're older here. I mean, where, when was this? I don't know, uh, mid nineties. I'm probably okay. 25, I think. Wow. And so I am so miserable with this that I finally decided to go to a doctor and he gave me some tar to yeah, lay yeah. in and it was, go ahead and scratch me again. Yeah, is it, yeah thank you, thank oh, you. It's gotta feel better. I know, it, but nothing, <laughs> no, this is why I did all the time when I had it. Did you no have help. psoriatic arthritis? Did you happen to have the joint pain? Didn't have so that forth? at all, uh, but I took prednisone. Yep. That made it worse and plus I plumped out Really? Oh, it was I, overnight. Because the treatment for this, folks, is either a UV lamp, you know, one of those uh, boxes that you stand in without clothes on and let the UV hit you, uh, or it's prednisone. It's some kind of cortisone, but the treatment is never to look at this as a fungus. Before we drop down mm -hmm. to your feet, which we're going to do in a second, did diet play a role in this? Um, it played a role in my getting this. Um, and it also played a role in my getting out of it. Thank okay. goodness for phase one. Let's jump down to the feet. Okay. Ready to go? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, Whoa! Oh, golly! <laughs> oh, here we are. Man, that's Would fun. you look at this? It yeah. just, it's plaque. It's horrible. This was the entire body. I tell you what, I got this out. Thank you. I Go got to offer oh. you some relief. Oh, thank Look you. Look at that, Kyle. That I is know. what psoriasis and looks like. And that is like. thick. It's crusty. And there was never any relief. You could put any kind of lush, lotion on it, any kind of aloe vera gel, and there really was no relief. Now, a lot of people get psoriasis, just a little patch here and there. But I'm telling you, it was covering the whole body. This was serious and nothing worked. Not the prednisone, not the tar baths, not the thick cream that I had to rub on every day before I put on my suit for work. Kyle did not a, a cortisone shot. Didn't it relieve it for a few days? It or? did. It was nice to get rid of some of the itch, but I'm telling you, it comes back with a vengeance. The prednisone itself made me gain weight, and it wasn't until I discovered this guy's phase one diet, that everything changed. I did the phase one, Doug, along with, uh, I think I took Nystatin, okay. but then I added sunlight to it. He talked about the UV box, and when yeah. I added sunlight and just got to lay out in the sun, that was the first time that it began drying up and I felt better, and all of this stuff started to clear up to where now it's just 
perfect skin, no problems. Kyle, the fascinating thing is if you look due north here, I know. no toenail fungus. That was the weirdest thing. That was one thing, of all the things I've ever had, that's one thing I never had. Yeah, that's, Thank and, goodness. And we saw your arm, we saw your feet, but and we didn't need to see much more. The rest of you the was The whole body, the this. sides, the back, everything was just covered. For those of you with psoriasis or skin conditions, do not be afraid to go out in the sun. We're told that the sun hurts, but the UV rays from the sun actually helps. Maybe you too can get off of all these drugs and begin showing some relief, skin relief. I should have had you take your shoe off, but I've seen his feet. <laughs> They're totally fine now, okay? Don't go away. More of know the cause. Well, right give me around a, the corner. Give me a scratch. Right there, give me a scratch. <laughs> no. I'm, I was diagnosed with uh, arthritis in my left hip. Had a lot of pain in my leg. Well, they put me on a real heavy medication at an arthritis doctor. There's a natural solution, Flexin. I would have tinges of pain in my hips and my knees. Had a lot of pain in my leg. Gone, completely gone. I just love Flexin. Flexin has just made me feel super. Flexin will have you feeling better in no time. Call today. That's 1-800-END-PAIN. This is nut crust, and you already know how to do that, right? You've been watching the show for a while. And here we've got uh, strawberry rhubarb parfait with Greek yogurt, which is really pretty. You want me to try this? Not yet. Okay. We have one more, and then Darn. you get to choose. Okay. This is a phase one okay, pumpkin good. pie, so good. there's no sugar in this one. Mm. Nice, huh? How much of that could you eat? I have the best job. <laughs> That's impressive. Broccoli, a superfood. Who'd have thought? Let food be your medicine. Man, I love, love that guy. Love that guy. Now, Makes it easy to be able to get it in. She ended this, is this great? What do fruits have to do with fungus? Okay, so the sugar and fruits for you. And then she says they are fresh. They're I like fresh. that. <laughs> They're fresh. Now, how does coffee affect phase one diet? Is there fungus in coffee? Oh man, there is fungus in almost every coffee out there. This is just well known. It's uh, You can look at a lot of the studies that are out there. but. Our friend Dave Asprey that makes Bulletproof Coffee is testing for some of the fungus and mycotoxins and he has a whole process. Bulletproof Coffee is really the only uh, coffee that I drink because fungus is so overrunning uh, the whole yeah. coffee industry, unfortunately. And Kyle, I tell people, look, you're sick. You have a tumor growing in your body, your heart vessels are plugging up, you have diabetes and you're not doing well go off of addictive foods. Coffee tends to be one of those. So for a month or two, take coffee out, man. You'll go through the tremors as you take the <laughs> caffeine out of your diet. Go off of addictive foods in addition to the phase one diet, go on that. Dr. Otto Warburg showed that cancer, oh, I know this one, cancer cells feed on what? Fat, protein, sugar, sugar, sugar <laughs> or oxygen. Do you know the answer, Kyle? I must be sugar, Doug. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Nice Good to see, to see you too, man. Stay, be careful with sugar. Stay well. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>